Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Reading and Comprehension, Ecosystems, Video 2. This is an engaged video created by Willoughby East Lake Schools. How to use the video lesson. There are four steps and or four options. Option number one, video and questions on screen. Complete video engaged. If you are presently using a smart board, please remember to save this video first and then open it up with smart video player. Step two, option two, video and print out only the comprehensive questions that are provided. The video will play the story and the students will write on the comprehensive questions. Step three, option three, simply print out the handout only and provide a handout for each student in your class. Step four, option four, simply use the smart board lesson that is provided only. An ecosystem is all things that interact in a specific area, whether they are living or non-living. Some examples of non-living things that support life in an ecosystem are light, air, soil, and water. Living things are the plants and animals called organisms that use those resources. Each of the specific ecosystems in the world has its own conditions created by the non-living things. These conditions determine what kinds of living things will be able to thrive there. Organisms can only thrive where their needs are being met. Everything in an organism's environment has an effect on it. One ecosystem that allows many different kinds of organisms to thrive is a temperate zone. It is an area where the conditions never become too hot or too cold. All the living things in an ecosystem are called community. All of one specific kind of organism living in a community is called a population. All the tree frogs in a rainforest community is one population within a community. All the white birch trees are another population within the same community. All the jaguars are yet another rainforest community population. All living organisms perform certain life processes. They take in nutrients like air, sunlight, water, and food. They use energy from those nutrients to grow and develop. They release energy by doing work and moving. They release waste products. They react to things in their environment. They reproduce, producing offspring or babies that are similar to themselves. If you would please, have a student come up to the smart board for the very first series of questions in reading and comprehension. Thank you. Page one. Please do not pick up a pen to your ask to do so. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answers. Question one. What is one example of a non-living thing in the ecosystem? Question two. What are three of the life processes that living organisms do? If you would please pick up a pen to answer these two questions. Do that now. Okay, here is what our answer is. Number one. What is one example of non-living thing in organism, light, air, water, or soil? Question number two. What are three of the life processes that living things do? Take in nutrients, use energy to grow, release energy, release waste, and react to the environment or production. 
You'll notice that's located down here at the bottom. If your answer matches ours, that is terrific. If you would please, have another student come up to the smart board for the next series of questions and while they're doing that, if you would erase your answers. Thank you. Page 2. Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answers. Question 3. What does population mean in a community? Question 4. When does an organism thrive? If you would please pick up a pen to answer these two questions. Thank you. Okay, here is what we have as the answer. Question 3. What does population mean in a community? One specific type of organism living in a community. As example in this paragraph. Question number 4. What does an organism thrive when its needs are met? As illustrated in this sentence in this paragraph. If your answer is matched ours, that is outstanding. If you would please... Have another student come up to the smart board, and while they're coming up here, if you would please pick up your eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Page 3. Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answers. The last question is number five. Why does a temperate zone support many varieties of organisms? If you would please, pick up a pen to answer this question. Please do that now. Okay, here is what we have as the answer. Number five, why does the temperate zone support many varieties of organisms? Because the conditions are not too hot and not too cold, as illustrated in this sentence in the second paragraph. If your answers match to ours, that is fantastic, outstanding. If you would please, pick up an eraser to erase your answers. And we would like to thank you for working with us today on reading and comprehension.